How you going guys? I'm down in northern New South Wales on a bit of a dewy mission and I just wanted to quickly run through the gear that I'm using so you guys can go out and have a crack. So I'm predominantly targeting dew on uh, hard bodies so I'm going to run through my whole setup and uh, you guys can set yourself up as well. Now start off with the broad and reel. Now I've got a two piece 12 foot pen prevail that's 8 to 12 kilos. Uh, it's quite a nice casting rod, nice tip on it and plenty of power in the butt section here. Now I've got that matched with a 10,000 Stella with a 16,000 jigging master spool. Now that spool's got 40 pound mono on it. So Jew are a bit of a bit of a rascal, they'll run straight around a rock or along a rock wall. So having braids, not much chop, it just pings off. So mono, a bit more abrasion resistance, keeps you connected for that little bit longer. Now at the end, no leader, just your decoy egg snap tied directly to your main line. So 40 pounds enough but you want that egg snap just so you can change lures quickly and, uh, and don't need to tie knots out on the rocks at night. So that's the rod and reel. Next most important bit of equipment is your gaff. So I've got a three piece screw fitting gaff. So there's a screw thread there that screws into each other. You don't want the twist lock ones because they'll break. I've uh, actually gaffed a fish before for a mate. He had a twist lock gaff hit the fish, the section's just pulled straight apart and uh, he lost it. Want to make sure it's nice and sharp. Jewies have a real hard head, so uh, you need that point nice and fall down so you can hit it into them and it'll actually stick. Um, make sure your gaff's long enough for wherever you want to fish. I've got three pieces because I uh, one of the spots you need, to, need the extra length to get down and hit them. So three pieces is good, but wherever you're fishing, you'll, uh, you'll need a different size gaff for that. That's your gaff. Righto, so the rest of the kit I carry in my bum bag. Now super fashionable, I know. I thought they went out in the 70s, but no, they're making a comeback. It's got two compartments, front and back. In the back, I load this Tupperware container with a few lures, which I'll talk about soon. I also take with me a knife. So that's for bleeding and killing fish. I've got my Head torch, which obviously I wear on my head. A lot of the stuff we do is at night, so always coming handy. Then I've got a backup torch as well. Now that's a lot more powerful, it's a lot more pencil beam, so I can use it for gaffing fish or finding mullet, that sort of thing. It's good to have a backup with you. Also got a small set of pliers just for rigging, cutting knots and uh, unhooking fish. Handy to have. And uh, onto the lures, the fun part. Now, with lures, I I hate to say it, but I don't think it makes a, a huge amount of different what colour colour you use or, or what lure you use. I think profile would be the most important thing over anything. As long as it looks like a mullet going through the water, then you're in with a shot. Uh, Colour-wise, stick natural. If worse comes to worse, go natural. But I think when juries are in fish food, uh, when juries in feeding mode, I should say, uh, they'll just come and have a crack at whatever, as long as it goes past their face. Uh, some of the favourites. Got the croaker lures here, these are made by Steve Patty. Um, got Levy lures, made by Mick Levy. Got the old school Dizzy lures, uh, they've been around for years, caught a heap of fish. I haven't caught many on, but they work well. Then you've got the uh, weird and wonderful contraptions. These guys, they're soft plastic mullet, nice joint to tail, plenty of movement. They, uh, they look unreal in the water. Um, got the big chair legs, so these are big bills bugs. They work great too, but uh, you, you get a bit tired of casting these around. They really take some pulling through the water, but good in the wash. And then, if I'm fishing somewhere with a bit of depth, I'll use something like that. It's got a big bib on it, gets down a bit deeper than the rest, and uh, really shimmies along. Um, that's about it. So everything's pretty compact. I only take probably five lures with me. They all fit in there. Well, everything goes in the bum bag, so you got your hands free, um, and that's about it. It's very lightweight, very compact, super simple. Now, in terms of safety, always make sure you have someone with you or someone knows where you are. Helps to have that person as an extra set of hands for gaffing fish or landing fish or whatnot. Um, don't forget your camera. You never know when you'll need to take a photo of that fish of a lifetime. But apart from that, guys, get out there and have a crack. Jewies are a, a pretty mystical beast. They are. Uh, they elude me at the best of times, but that's why we go back. They're such a great challenge, such a great sport fish that uh, they're just too good to stop chasing. Alright guys, I've got an afternoon session to get to. Might catch you out there.